What are you doing in my swamp? What 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 are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2002 movie Minority Report. So, in this movie, it's for six years, Washington DC has been murder free and stuff thanks to technology and stuff. It's set in the year 2054 and uh, they have this technology that identifies killers before they commit their crimes and uh, and everything. It's called a pre-crime unit is the, what the, the uh, group of people who stop the crimes before they happen are called and the chief of the pre-crime unit is accused of murder himself and uh, goes on the run and is trying to find out why he's being accused of uh, a planned murder and stuff because he has no plans of murdering somebody and the person that he's supposedly gonna murder is someone he's never met um, and uh, He's got to find a way to clear his name or, uh, or help fall victim to their, the perfect system that he helped create. Uh, so, this is a, a pretty decent movie. It's one that Spielberg did in the early 2000s. It, uh, I don't think it was like a huge hit. I think it did decently. 2002 was a really stacked year, and I think it had really big competition that year when it came out. I think it did fairly well though. It came out like in the earlier part of the summer, so it it, it wasn't like directly competing with Spider-Man. Um, but I think it it came out like in the middle of June when there wasn't near as much competition, and it did fairly decent. But it wasn't like a huge, huge hit. Um, but I, I thought it, I think this is a really good movie. It's one that I've been wanting to see for a while. I've had. A few copies of it on DVD and a couple of them didn't work and stuff so I had seen like part of the movie but never saw it all the way through till the end until today and uh, I gotta say it was a pretty decent movie the story was really well written and everything it has a really engaging story but it also has uh, a lot of really great action and stuff which you, you kind of expect action stuff from Tom Cruise anyway um, although he's not as much of the action star back then as he is now, because back then he did still do a lot of dramas and stuff. He, he, he it was before he really hit his action star status, but um, he, he's really good in this movie. And I'm, I'm not really a huge Tom Cruise fan, but I can't deny that he's a good actor and stuff. Uh, and he was really good in this movie. There, there were some parts where uh, he had to get really emotional and stuff, and his performance was really, really good in this movie. Um, the, the rest of the cast in here are all great too, especially Max von Sydow. He, he was really good in this movie. I totally forgot that he was even in this one, but he, he was really good in here. And uh, I just really enjoyed this one. The story is really good, a really interesting story, and it had this twist that I did not see coming. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is because I don't want to ruin it for anybody who hasn't seen it. But the twist at the end really took me by surprise. Um. John Williams' score is pretty good. It's not one of his best, though. It's kind of, uh, kind of forgettable. It's actually one of my least favorite scores of his, up there with his work on uh, on Jaws 2. It'd probably be one of my least favorite scores, but it's okay. It's not anything super special, but it, it works good enough for this movie. Um, the visual effects in here are really good. They hold up really well. I think they used as little CGI as they could and stuff, and it, the special effects do hold up really well. And as far as being set in the future and stuff, a lot of movies that are set in the future always feel dated, and of course we haven't hit 2054 yet, so it, this movie could be really, really dated by then and stuff, but the only thing so far that this movie's done that feels really, really dated is... Uh, there's a scene when the show Cops comes on and stuff, and like that show got canceled last year, so that's already been dated and stuff. But besides that, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I I could see happening in the future, and I know Spielberg tried to do, uh, tried to make it as realistic as he could with it being said in the future. He talked to scientists and people who 
work on technology and stuff and what they're hoping to do in the future so and some of the stuff I think has actually happened already but there's a lot that hasn't yet um, and some of it is like just like in its infancy and stuff but I know there's like the touch screens and stuff like that in this movie that at that time were were somewhat around like like handhelds and stuff but uh, like certain technology and stuff that wasn't around back then is starting to come around nowadays and pro might be around by the time 2054 gets here it's gonna be really interesting to check this movie out again in another 30 years and see how it holds up then um, but I, I really thought this was a, a good movie it's not one of my favorite Spielberg movies though I, I do like it but it, it's definitely not one of my most favorites of his um, but I do enjoy it and it, it's Definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of Spielberg, and if you like good sci-fi movies, it's definitely worth checking out for that, too. Um, futuristic stuff, it's, it's really, really entertaining, and has a really interesting story. I, I've seen a lot better, seen a lot worse, and everything. Um, so, I'd say I'd give Minority Report a 5 out, I mean, not a, I'd say I'd give Minority Report an 8 out of 10, not a 5 out of 10. Because uh, it, it is a solid movie, and it is definitely worth watching and everything and even if you're not a fan of Tom Cruise I'd recommend it because he is really good in this movie and everything I, I don't really give him the credit he deserves and everything I don't know why I'm not really a big fan of him. maybe it's just his cocky personality in real life he has and stuff maybe that's why I'm not that big of a fan of him but he, he's he's really good in this movie but anyway let me know in the comments what you think of Minority Report and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody.